Okay, here we go. We're fighting a priest. By the way, I'm about to make some changes to my to my deck. But I don't know what day those videos might get out in the near future. A couple of these cards aren't good enough. My eyes in fact, if you look on HS Replay, um, the best spell token hunter deck is going to be the changes that I'm making. So we're going to get rid of him, Slither Spear. And we're going to get rid of the card all the way to the left. And we're going to add some different cards. And the win, the win rate on HS Replay is really good. So if you're a Hunter player, go take a look. Because they got the new deck up that's doing very well. We've been talking about how God is using gaming for our good as a powerful tool. And we mentioned in the last video how God was using gaming in some of our lives simply to give us something to do while he's sanctifying our souls and working on us. But I wanted to mention a couple more. And by the way, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if the Lord Jesus had 10,000 different ways, completely different, of how he's using gaming for good in the lives of one of his chosen ones. So how else is God using gaming for our good? He's helping a lot of us to war against our pride while we game. Whether you're playing Smite and you're a really good player, Apex, Dragon's Dogma 2, Hearthstone, Battlegrounds, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you're playing. When we win a lot, we get prideful. We all do. I don't believe anybody is an exception. I think we all do. And let me share with you, I'm on a fantastic winning streak right now. I, I haven't lost a single game in this season. So you can, you can just look at my score that I've won 10, 11, 12, 13 in a row. And you've got to fight against the pride thinking that it's actually you doing it. Because that is the lie right there. That is the deception. Starting the operation. Now you might be thinking, well, Garrett, you don't understand. Um, I've been playing Valorant for a long time. I've downloaded all of the shooting um, uh, training software on Steam. I practice one hour a day using the software. I, I mean, Garrett, what about all of my hard work? Brothers and sisters, just the fact that you're able to practice a game is grace from God. Calm down. Everything is grace, so there will be no boasting in heaven. Um, I think I should have went... I'm sorry, I was talking too much on that. I don't know if I should have went face, but... He's playing an overheal deck and he's going to try to outheal my damage and draw his cards. Wow, okay. We got Leroy. By the way, for you hunter players, Leroy isn't in the new deck. Um, they replaced him, so you might want to check it out. I love the new Hunter deck on HS Replay. It, it's better than what I'm playing right now. 
and the stats show you on the website that it's better. The only disappointment is they don't have Leroy in it. And I've gone over the deck very carefully trying to add Leroy somewhere and I can't find a card that I can take out yet so I can put Leroy back in. Because that six damage to the face on turn five or turn six or turn seven is incredible. Another way that God is using gaming for our good is practicing really good sportsmanship. I like to encourage my opponents. Now, I know in Hearthstone and Battlegrounds, you can't talk to each other. But in the other games I play, I try to put up encouragement. I try to put up something that's going to help everybody to feel a little bit better after the match or even during the match. You can bless people during your game. Even just by making them laugh. I had such a funny game a few days ago that the guy added me as a friend and sent me a private message. It was really cool. It was such a fun game. We can bless one another. Especially like in RTS games where you can type to each other during the match and stuff like that. Is he, did he quit? Oh, okay, I guess he quit. Praise God, the winning streak continues. And you better believe it's not me, it's all the Lord. He's using gaming for our good.